And know what a grandmother named Joy lives up to her name while showing courage in the face of a cruel challenge. Two News Problem Solver Pete Knutson shows how her friends and neighbors are making a difference in her life. The sounds of construction. Their music to Joy Jefferson. I'm happy. You know, for me and my family. Joy, her son, and her grandkids have been living several blocks from here in a trailer house that's run down and falling apart. She's raised her grandkids here for eight years, but Joy's done so much more. She helps out in the community. She takes people around, to, seniors around to get their medicines. She runs people to pay their bills and groceries and everything. <laughs> and Joy does it all with a smile, Tom Centers tells us, as she battles cancer. She'll go to chemo and still come back and help the people. It was clear, Tom says, he had to help Joy. So he got his church and many others around town involved in buying and renovating this vacant house. The plan is to give it to Joy. I just see the need of people that... So many people are in need, and I've the Lord has blessed me in so many ways that uh, I just want to help. I want to I want to try and make a difference. Folks have donated a new roof, carpeting, cabinets, and countertops. Joy and her grandkids work right alongside the volunteers, clearing debris and prepping the inside. She's worked harder than any of us, uh, and that's the whole thing with her. She just never stops. She just helps everybody and and does everything that she can. Joy, though, focuses on all those who've helped build her new home. Some folks she doesn't even know. I am so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm just, I mean, I, I'm boiling over right now because I just don't know what to say of the love that they have shown me. Tom says they're looking for a few more donations to finish up. As for Joy, even more great news, this time from her doctor. I feel great. I don't hurt anywhere. And I'm off chemo right now, so it's just awesome. But I know it because of God. He wasn't, he wasn't ready for me to go yet, and so he wanted me to enjoy what his blessings to my life. What a difference a few weeks and a few volunteers can make for Joy's health and her home. Pete Knutson, 2 News, works for you.